Y'all see me See what I'm saying? I was gonna say y'all see me struggling. It was upside down. Okay, so um, y'all know I like to have the water on. I, I just uh, and one reason I'm having the water on. Okay, right now I'm gonna put this right here. So I might as well start recording. Um. Okay, y'all. So. So I had to um, throw away my other ring light. Let's see y'all. I don't know. Anyway, I had to throw away my other ring light. So I'm I'm getting some footage y'all. And I have a whole lot of footage that I haven't uploaded. Um, which it didn't really feel fulfilling, but I recorded it. So I might as well upload it. So, just to let y'all know that I ain't forgot about y'all, whatever. I just, I just been going to, um, I want to say demon time, but <laughs> I can't say that because I'm not sure if that's what it was. But I'm here now and I'm preparing. They say they say breakfast and lunch is brunch, but this is lunch and dinner. So let's do it. So I got these pork chops right here. Cooking for the fam bam. Getting it all together. This seems kind of this seems kind of cloudy. I don't know how it's gonna come out. I don't know how it's gonna come out. But I'm gonna get it together. But that might be a little better, y'all. I got the little light in the back. Angel. Okay, y'all. So I'm playing this meat. I'm just doing this just to start recording and make sure I record and make this video. Videos. Shorts. And me gotta be clean before you before you cook it, right? Y'all know how I'm about the water and the garbage disposal and all that. Oh yeah, this is just a couple dishes right here that need to be washed, but that's not that's not me. If I try to do all not all that, but if I try to do that a little bit, I might get thrown off a little bit. So I'm just picking up, I mean cleaning the pork chops. Matter of fact, let me see what's this um it's called pork loin stitcher cut chop. That's what I'm picking. I haven't been cooking like this in a while, y'all. Everybody's been just like going for themselves, so it's not a big deal. It just is what it is. Cause I've been, I, I y'all not even been doing too good. I've been like posting a little something. Some, or I record a little something, something, you'll see. So I'm actually posting, posting right now. Cause I figure it's time. And also I was looking at, um, watching Life of Me. And I already been knowing, I already know what my job and my duty is as far as YouTube. But she had said something in her video. She said nothing to it. <laughs> she probably wasn't even talking to me. I ain't trying to be no stalker, y'all. But she said, I was like, okay. Let me get up today because I've already been, you know, it's been on my mind. When you're a YouTuber, if you're small, big, getting paid, not getting paid, YouTube is YouTube. You're an entrepreneur. So, um, yeah. That just encouraged me a little more. When Life is Neat said nothing to it. And she was doing a um, Fashion Over U-Haul. Which uh, it was another thing like. Um, I've been like in my head like. I'm not really liking my wardrobe. But I can't afford like a new wardrobe. I mean if I. If I, if I, I mean I could a little at a time but. When you start little at a time, by the time you get to the end, 
everything old. You gotta start over again. So yeah. But um oh my goodness, so that was the last That was the last pack of them. So y'all know how you know y'all know how I do when I have to uh, have my bag for trash when I'm cooking. If you don't know, if you don't know, this is a perfect example. You only can do so much of this. You know, try to have your trash clean as possible, but you have to empty it anyway, so. So, my little trash bag for cooking. My grandson empties the trash for me, so I should be good on that. But sometimes I, I give him a break. You know, if he's going to school or working or whatever, I'll, I'll take out the trash. It's no big deal. I've been doing it. Not, not about it. Okay, y'all. So, um, I wash my hands. Now, this is the grand finale of seasoning. So, y'all, I apologize for the lighting. Um, I wonder if I could put this right here, but y'all can't see like, this is better as far as what I'm doing, preparation, so I'm trying to do it better for y'all, but it's all good. We got to keep going, right? We got to keep going. Let it to it, but do it. Okay, so yeah, I, I do use a lot of paper towel. I'm gonna have to open another thing of paper towels. Even though them paper towels is not gone, but if I open another paper towel, it'd be, you know, for the house. And whatever's left that I haven't used right now, I can use it while I'm cooking. Okay? As y'all know, I'll be liking to wash my hands and stuff. So we're gonna take this these paper towels out just in case. If nothing else, I'll buy some more. Dollar Tree will take care of you. Matter of fact, Walmart will take just as good care of you. It just depends on your pockets. Okay. So I'm here, I'm doing it, y'all. Have to open it and <laughs> shoot. I'm gonna set this over here. Okay, y'all. So I, like I said, I, I really apologize for the lighting, but if I keep using excuses, then I'm on post. Cause I've been in a dark night of soul and hermit and all that, and if you know, you know. I just been dealing with myself. Okay, so we doing it though. So I already got the seasons out because I got the flower bag to flower the um, pork chop kit. It's already seasoned. So the seasons that I use to put in the flour, I'm gonna put in the meat. I put the seasons in the flour and then I left all the caps open. So when it was time to clean the meat and season it, the caps will already be open. I ain't got to be, because let me tell y'all something. So I'm not judging nobody. I'm not, because I'm not perfect. But when people cook, they touch the meat and they touch certain things. And then they, they, don't, they don't really wash their hands. And they touch the seasoning and they season the meat or whatever. And I don't know if they wipe the seasonings after that or whatever, but when you touch the seasonings after touching meat, which is salmonella and stuff like that, and 
the seasonings you put back in the cabinet because you're not thinking about, oh, you know, I need to wipe these. Or you can just make sure your hands are clean. Y'all just see me wash my hands. I haven't touched no meat since I washed the meat. I wash my hands after. Now I'm going to get the seasonings and season the meat. So that way when I touch the seasonings, I'm not putting salmonella on the seasonings and just throwing it in the cabinet. And then whoever is after me or me go for the seasonings to cook something else. You're not knowing that you're touch, you're touch, dealing with salmonella. I'm a little, I'm a little, y'all know I'm a little, um, what they call that? You know. Okay, y'all, so I was just saying that to say because these seasonings are open. This one wasn't open. I just clicked, used her to open it. I must have should have didn't realize it because it was one of the last. So this is garlic powder. And y'all know, okay, so just to remind y'all, this is a big thing of meat, okay? So if it looked like I'm putting a lot of seasoning, maybe I am. Maybe I might be putting a little too much, but it is. I, look, I'm sharing y'all what I'm doing so I can post. This ain't no cooking video. Ain't no cooking video. It's just me working and doing what I got to do to keep my channel going because I've been off track, y'all. This is um, garlic and herb. Then we got a little honey hickory. Y'all, this is like, like your meat been a little barbecued a little bit. That's what this is. <laughs> it's good, though. And we got, of course, we have salt, of course. I'm not supposed to use iodized salt, iodized salt and all that. My mom taught me really well about seasonings and ingredients and stuff like that, even though there wasn't a lot of cooking going on in the house. Um, I was raised Muslim, so, you know, I learned about the, you know, seasonings. But now we in survival mode, y'all, so I'm not really tripping off too much. Oh, oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby. <laughs> hey, we're going to throw some of this up in there. It never can go wrong with obey. Now we got some um, more spice, Tony, whatever they call it. This is what it is. Y'all, I, I know when me and my daughter buy stuff at the store, seasonings, I know to, you don't have to just always just be focused on what it is because you know what it is. If you know what it is. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, um, I'm done with this as far as the meat, but when I cook further, I might need something. So, I'm just not going to put the seasoning up yet. Because I don't, I don't want to be touching meat you know, I, I just gave you the speech. So, I don't know what it is. I got I can't have no dry hair doing this. I'm I'm gonna rinse my hands off. We gonna mix it. Y'all, all this meat, I gotta move it all around. Make sure the seasons get in there. I mean, everybody don't always like my cooking. I can't say if I'm a bad cook or a good cook. All I know is whatever I cook, I'm going to eat it. <laughs> Even if it takes me a couple days because I'm trying to make it stretch. Y'all, because this world is, is something else. There's a whole lot going on in this world. We can't be tripping off the stuff we used to trip on. You know? The world is a whole lot different than how we was raised and what we was raised. And I'm quite sure, like, when I was raised and how I was raised was different from the 50s. I was I was born in the 60s, so I'm quite sure the 40s and 50s was different. So, it's not nothing. You just have to adjust, adapt. So, I really didn't want to touch this bucket. So, here you go, y'all. Mixing it all up. 
Okay. So I'm going to leave this right here. I definitely have to wash my pan. And I mean, I got to... I got to go on the nails. Get all that season and stuff on the nails as much as possible. I might just have to wash again later because you know you can't get everything. But I'm just telling y'all because I'm washing my hands and I'm explaining to y'all what I'm doing. Because you're like, what's she doing? She's probably washing her hands. So, dishwasher liquid. And I'm going to tell y'all, some, some people ask me how do I grow my nails. I'm going to show y'all in a second. Well, some people ask me how to grow my nails. And I'm telling you, dishwasher liquid is really good to grow your nails. But everybody's body is different, so what worked for me might not work for everybody. Because you have different genetics, you know. I don't know how, what, 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 but. Okay, you guys, here are my nails. These are my nails. They break and stuff, but, like, I don't really, like, trip off of one of the shop. I really trip off of <laughs> dishwashing, licking, and washing. And I'm not crazy about, um polish because it, it, it chips too much and it's expensive so now when I when I um, wanted to wash my hands from seasoning the meat and moving the meat around with my hands I had to touch the dishwashing liquid in order to wash my hands so now the dishwashing liquid might have salmonella on it so we're gonna clean this So I have to spend extra money on dishwashing liquid just to make sure, you know. Because the next person that touched the dishwashing liquid, why should they get salmonella or me? See this? I'm washing the bottle. Y'all see this? Washing the bottle. So next time I touch it or anybody else touch it, it's clean. As possible. Y'all hear the squeak. Hear the squeak? When you hear the squeak, that's a good sign. Okay, so now all I do is rinse my hands because it's still dishwashing liquid. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to leave the water running because I have to season the chicken and you'll see in a second. This this apron, it's another thing to help save pepper towels because I'm going to take pepper towel clean. Okay, so we're going to leave this right here. Now it's time for the flower. Oh. It's not just time for the flower, y'all. I have, okay, I have the part right here um, for, I don't know. I'm going to try to throw together some noodles. You know, in the hood, you got to throw together something. I don't know, I might put cheese and shrimp or something. I'm not really cooked like that with cheese, shrimp. Not, um, I'd rather go to TikTok and, and find some recipes, but I'm doing what it do. And then we're going to have the pork and beans right here. So that's what these pots are for right here. They're already set. Okay. But this is actually the grand finale for the pork chops that I'm about to put in the flour that I just cleaned the season. And we're going to turn the ion so the, so the grease can be getting hot. I probably should already put it on, but it's okay. We doing it now. We doing it now. Hey, we doing it now. Hey, we doing it now. Okay, y'all. So I got y'all see I got I got the ring light set up right here where my phone supposed to go and stuff, but we moving around. Move around. Move around. Jail don't have to be physical jail, it can be spiritual jail. So Move around. Okay, y'all. Y'all know I'm a character. Don't trip. I'm better to it, but to do it. <laughs> okay, y'all. I'm just having a good time with it, y'all. So I was praying. You know, sometimes you have to make sure you preserve your ingredients and stuff. The stuff is high now, and then a lot of times I don't be feeling like shopping. So my daughter will go shopping, but I might do more cooking 
because she does more working in the field. So, you know, I have to like <laughs> make sure I'm, you know, you know, do what you gotta do. So I'm not gonna turn the water. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna turn the water off for a second. So I was gonna say I wasn't gonna turn the water off because as I'm putting the meat in the bag or whatever, I'm gonna, after I'm done with that, I'm gonna have to wash my hands. So I really need the water running instead of after I touch the meat, then I touch the knobs, then I gotta wash that, then I, okay? But I'm gonna turn it on, I'm gonna turn it back on right now because I gotta do what I gotta do. So I'm gonna try y'all um, to post some videos and shorts that I should have already been posting or whatever, but my spirit wasn't feeling it. It didn't have, I didn't have content or I couldn't post it or it was just, my spirit was going through something. It still is. Okay, don't, don't get it twisted. But at the same time, uh, just because you go through demon time don't mean it's like you're trying to be just out doing anything. Sometimes it just be like you're being tested by spirit. You know, God will test you. And you have, have, must remember that God is the one who made um, good and evil. So us as humans just have to pick and choose. But sometimes when we fight in evil, but we choose good, uh, we have to be evil. You can't be all might to evil. Sometimes you just gotta put it down. You feel me? Oh, I'm spoiling this around, y'all. This is the last one. I'm over here spoiling it around because I don't want to waste no seasoning, y'all. I don't want to waste no seasoning, but I gotta get rid of it now. It's all in the bag. All the meat is in the bag right now. The grease is warming up. I got it on past medium so it can warm up quicker, but I don't want to have to wait for it to cool off because it's too hot. So sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. So I pour a little dish off and look in here. It's like a rinse it. Rinse my hands. I'm not trying to be worried about rinsing my hands too much. Because after I rolled these uh, pork chops around in the flour, I still have to touch it. So, and then I'm gonna just throw away the bag. So it's no need. Because I'm gonna have to wash my hands for real, and so I gotta save dishwashing liquid. I gotta save dishwashing liquid. I can't just unnecessarily. I can't just unnecessarily um, just use dishwashing liquid because I'm. OCD. <laughs> I'm OCD living in a real world though. Living in a real world. I'm just, yeah, I have so many diagnoses it ain't no joke. But I'm still here and I thank God. But he is God is the Alpha and the Omega. And he did give his only begotten son Jesus. And I understood that a lot more since I lost my son. I understand that a lot more. But anyway, y'all, okay, so I believe, okay, let's turn the fan on. So, y'all, y'all, uh, look, y'all, just bear with me because y'all already know this light ring light stuff. It, it don't be acting right sometimes. Hey, oh, spoke too soon. <laughs> let's get it right, y'all. We gonna get it right. I'm going to take y'all through it because, shoot, when I don't be posting and then I'll be thinking about stuff, what I have to do to post, and it don't be turning out right, and it be, I be imagining this happen, and I be trying not to get discouraged, but I be like, got to get it done. Okay, y'all, there we go. So, um, okay, y'all, so the grease right here is heating up. The meat, I, I still think... I don't see the meat really flour on everything. But we'll do that when we take it out. That's why I have to have the water running. But um, right now, I have to go and get my energy drink, and I will be 
right back. Okay, y'all. Hey, 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 y'all. Check this out, though. I forgot I was watching Jazz and Tay, so I had to pause my TV because I had to do my own thing, you know. I've been lacking enough, you feel me? But Jazz and Tay is one of the people. Okay, let me tell you. Jazz and Tay is, it, okay. Jazz and Tay. I was gonna say first list or whatever, but it's not about that. I'm just gonna talk and say how I feel. But Jazz and Tay is 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 back on scene, y'all. It's on and popping on and cracking or whatever you want to call it. I don't know the lady slang, but uh, I was watching them while I was trying to while I was preparing this and charging my phone to record this. I was watching them, so I stopped it in my room. But I watch it on my phone to make sure I can like and subscribe and all that. Because on my TV, I don't do all that. Because I don't like to sign in because I don't be trusting people on the outside using our Wi-Fi. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, I was watching them. But I was watching Life as, as Neek. I was watching Life as Neek. And she was doing her fashion over haul. And then, like, answered a prayer because I'm, like, tired of my war robe. You feel me? I need a new war room. I, I gotta get with the program. And I think that's one of the things that's kind of like been depressing me is because of my war room. So, anyway, she's like nothing to it. And I was like, hey! She probably wouldn't even be talking to me, but that's how I took it. I took it as spiritually, you know. God was letting me know it's nothing to it. Get back to work, girl. So, I just feel like God and the angels and ancestors and stuff spoke to her. And just encouraged me to do what I'm doing right now, making this video. And then later on, I got to post what I done, videos I done made, shorts I done made that I haven't even posted. So I've been thinking about YouTube, y'all. Don't, don't get me wrong. But, um, um, oh, another thing was the Prince family, y'all. Kai, no, I ain't going to say Kai. I'm going to say CJ. CJ. The first son and his brother Kyrie, named after Kyrie Irving in basketball. But CJ and Kyrie played football. So I was watching them. I've been watching them, you know, off and on during the week, but I've been watching their games. And it just been just, just putting a smile on my face and making me happy. So anyway, y'all, meanwhile back at the ranch, I just wanted to give y'all that little, little quick little side message of where my mind been and why I'm here right now. So, um, I think the grease is hot enough for the pork chops. So I'm gonna get this started. Y'all, I gotta get these noodles started too. I'm not, like this noodle stuff, I'm not really into noodle stuff. And, 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 and you know, I, I, you know, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. One time I had cooked something, right? And this man asked me, for some of the food I was cooking for my family. And things didn't work out, right? But so I told him it didn't work out, so I didn't give you no play. He was like, why you don't know how to cook? Check this out. To now today. Sorry, I had to get the pot uh, and get this boiling water started for these noodles. I got this for the noodles. So anyway. You know, sometimes you gotta watch when people be trying to um talk to you in, on the slick side any old kind of way. I don't give I don't give a care if a man or anybody think I know how to cook or not. I don't care. Cause guess what? I'm eating to live. I'm not living to eat. I've never been a person to like cook for a bunch of people. I'm only child. I, I don't care. Okay. 
So I, I, maybe I can make enough money. You ain't even got to do all that. You got TikTok. You got every everybody on it. You got the internet on YouTube. Anything you want to cook, you can cook it. Okay, you you can cook some slamming stuff, but you also have to have the mon the the money to buy the stuff because everybody don't have all the ingredients. And then sometimes I'm just cooking. I, I'm not trying to be like, oh, my shit gonna be good. Oh, oh yeah, it's gonna be on the popping. I don't care, I'm just hungry, I'm trying to eat, okay? That's all I'm trying to say. So, I'm gonna get back to y'all because this is a 30 minute video already. So, I need as many as much content as possible because y'all know I'm trying to reach a thousand videos and I don't know I'm at almost 900 I don't know so I gotta get the ball rolling y'all so I got at least a hundred and something videos ago before New Year's but I got videos in the chain where I ain't posted so I'll be back with y'all and all momento none to it but to do it